All right. So they say stone falls freely. Um, the time taken to fall, I'm going to write that down. Time taken to fall. Uh, and I encourage you to do this as well, right? Like, do you notice there are no pronumerals in the question? Um, I'm going to use pronumerals in a second, but I'm introducing them, so I should probably say what they are. So this is what they do talk about. Time taken to fall, and then there is um, distance fallen. So these are the two quantities that they are interested in. Being that these are the two quantities, I'm going to give them names. What's a common sense name for time? T. <laughs> I'm going to go with H, okay. And distance fallen? Okay, easy. So they say that time taken to fall varies directly with the... With? Square root of the distance. So t varies directly square root of the distance. Okay. So I can now form my equation, which is t equals what? Uh, k. Yep. There's my constant. Perfect. Okay. So um, now to find out what k is, because I'm going to need that to actually answer the question, I use the data that's been provided. Uh, four seconds matches up with 78.4 meters. So seconds goes in time, four, and 78.4 goes in my distance. So from here, I just want k, so I'm going to divide both sides by the square root of 78.4. Okay, um, you don't need to, I don't think it says at any point you need to actually evaluate that. You can just leave it there. Yeah, you just use it like that. Okay, um, now they want to know how long, that's T, time, how long will it take for it to go 500 meters? So here's the last thing I said about T and D together. So using this number, I can say that T is 4 on the square root of 78.4 times the square root of what? What distance are we talking about right now? 500. Like so, and now the rest is calculator work. It is very important that we put down our 10.06. Give me a few more. Did someone, is it, is it, is it, is it disappeared? 23059 dot 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 okay and then at the last moment you then look at the question and it says to the nearest second and that's when you Round. You saw the six. You saw the six. You know what though? That's that's not your fault because what your brain has done is look for the next one after a zero. That's why, and you're like, there's the zero. Whoops, you know. So very human error to make. Okay. 